You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Okay, tell me about this alleged drug trafficking. It's quite straightforward. Someone is using Terminal B to smuggle raw ingredients from the Samaran Isola into Revachol with the Union's blessing. Wild Pines has suspected it for years. And done nothing about it. Ingredients for what, man? Meth and dextroamphetamine, GBL and various synthetic psychedelics. Honestly, it might be quicker to say what you can't make from the stuff. Let me get this straight. The materials come from Samara to Revachol through the terminal? Yes. After they clear the terminal, we lose track. The actual production is taking place at various sites in and around Jamrock Quarter, north of here. Wild Pine seems to be well apprised of the local drug trade, man. Do you mean to say the Union also produces the product? Sells drugs, I mean? We're in logistics. It's our business to know. And no. As far as the company knows, the Union does not produce it. They transport the ingredients for a cut. Yeah, if they were going to produce it themselves, they'd want a bigger slice of the pie. You want us to investigate? Yes, but you won't get anything out of Evrat and the Dock Workers Union. Still, every chain has its weak link. And we just need to find the weak link. The handoff. The motor lorries at the roundabout. The lorries? Precisely. Someone needs to move the ingredients from the harbour into the city. Once they reach Jamrock, they're distributed to a network of local manufacturers well beyond our grasp. But in transit, they're vulnerable. I've talked to the lorry drivers, Tommy and the racist. How convenient that they're stranded like beached whales at that roundabout. Perhaps you've noticed that a number of lorries are tangled in a traffic jam at the roundabout just now. Interview the drivers who are still hanging about. One of them might be waiting for a crucial shipment. He gives you a knowing Her look. Her irises are light green, like the river Esperance in bright daylight, upstream where it's clearer. I'll be explicit. If you find this driver, I will share company secrets with you. All right. Uncovering union secrets could also give you an upper hand when dealing with them. Why didn't you come to the RCM earlier? I did. On more than one occasion. Apparently, there's some sort of inter-precinct disagreement about whose jurisdiction this area falls under. The pissing competition! We know the company has launched its own probe into the Union's alleged involvement. We also know it's come up empty. It's not just the RCM. No one's been able to find any hard evidence. Well, here's your chance, officers. It's no coincidence the lorries are stranded there like that, is it? What proof do you have that the Union's involved? We already have some suspicions that one of the drivers was present at the lynching. I've made my mind up. Let's discuss something else. It's no coincidence, no. is it? We asked East Motor Track to raise the drawbridge. The road company is a partner of one of our subsidiaries. However... He pauses, looking out to the sea. This is a limited time opportunity. Once the complaint has been processed by the Trade Committee, they'll have no choice but to lower the drawbridge, and the operation will continue. He looks north, so it's a uh, do it sooner rather than later. Thousands of litres of raw ingredients will pour onto the streets of Revachol. Not the east across the river, but the west. The vulnerable. The weary. Well, at least this solves one mystery. What is that, Lieutenant? Why I had to call East Motor Track and beg them to open a drawbridge for me. I'd wonder since I first drove in on my motor carriage. I am sorry for the inconvenience, Lieutenant Kisaragi. But we need them trapped here. This is a unique opportunity. I'm sure you understand. What proof do you have that the Union's involved? How do you think they're financing this strike? There are thousands of unpaid dock workers going strong for the fourth month straight. Um, two plus two. There was a shakedown of local businesses preceding the strike. Many were squeezed to bankruptcy to fund it. With all due respect to these desert cacti, the contents of a few cash registers cannot provide for 2,000 men. The local businesses can scarcely provide for themselves. Do you think the strike is being funded with source ingredients for drugs? Precisely. Smuggled out of that very gate at night most likely, then loaded onto lorries and driven to Jamrock. You simply need to find one driver who will open up to you. So that is why we have an empathy check for Tommy. Yeah. Okay. So now 
talking to Joyce means that that empathy check might be a bit easy. We already have some suspicions that one of the drivers was present at the lynching. The two might even be connected. Or not. Though, if you have evidence to the contrary, I'm eager to hear it. As eager as I am to share it, Lieutenant, once the job is done. Okay, I've made my mind up about the smuggling investigation. Yes? We'll take this case, probe the drivers, see what it yields. Excellent. According to my reports, there are at least three lorry drivers lingering near the roundabout. Hopefully one of them will know something. Have we found the third one? It may come to nothing, or it may just blow the case wide open. I can keep the drawbridge up for a few more days at least. You should have the time you need. A few more days. In the meantime, let me know if there's any other way I may be of assistance. He takes another long sip from a seemingly bottomless thermal cup. You know something about these tattoos. That's the man who was killed. I'm afraid this is a discussion for once we've cleared the lynching question. You know something about the tattoos? How is you looking at the photo ta Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Why? How is you looking at the photo tied to the lynching? Better not tie the fourth day to the bat stale, miss. I hope there is something else I can help you with. That's the man oh, who was that's... killed. You know something about tattoos. Better not tie the fourth day to oh. the bat stale, miss. That's Good. the man who was killed. Better not tie good. the fourth day to right. the bat You seem stale. smart. This reality. He pulls her hood closer around her neck. Yes, reality is your side case. An experimental side case. I am conducting a personal investigation into the world I find myself in. It's related to the medical episode. I have trouble remembering even the most basic terms of reality. No time to explain, just give me the lowdown. Actually, now's not a good time. It's related to the medical episode. Ah, yes, the episode. Sounds like an acute case of encephalopathy, now that I think of it. He puts down a thermal cup and looks at you. Don't be fazed, madame. He functions perfectly well. He only needs a lowdown on all of reality. Yeah, how do you perceive it? We may be here a while then. Ask away, officer. I'll help however I can. All right, we're in. I know these all look good, but begin with the first, okay? <laughs> Thanks, Encyclopedia. Okay, um, right. So, where are we? What times are these? What is this acute encephalopathy? Esprit de corps. 14 legendary. What is, think of something close to you. RCM can access ICP database. RCM can use it on jacketed ammo. RCM Kim debrief done. What are you? What is this? Conceptualization impossible 20. What is reach for something fundamental? Okay, well, conceptualization can get quite high, but yeah. Let's go with the first one. Where are we? We're in Martinez, baby. Baby. A casual term of endearment popular among the 50 plus crowd. It's a disco holdover, pay it no heed. I'm a disco holdover myself. <laughs> Aren't we all? She refers to your corresponding ages. And what is Martinez? Martinez is a district of Revachol. A very small district tucked away near the industrial harbour. North of the 881 and Jamrock. You would be excused for not knowing about it. Unimportant, they say. Forgotten, even. Shelled to smithereens during the revolution. It has its charms, just not this time of year. Tell me more about Martinez. I'm not a good ambassador. I've only been here once before, as a teenager. Not a lot has changed. There are ruins, a terminal, fishing boats, reeds, boys with boxy shoulders. As I told you, Martinez used to be a province. A worker's resort before the city swallowed it and the artillery did its part. Now the reeds are the real star of the show here. The further down the coast, the wilder it gets. Yeah, Alina mentioned that what they're trying to find in the reeds is neat. Okay. You mentioned a sea. What sea is this? It's not really a sea. It's the Bay of Revachol. And the bay feeds into the ocean. Are we near the ocean? Yes. We're on an island in an ocean. The world's largest body of water, the Insulindic. Known to the early river Sholians as Les Immensités Bleu, the Blue Immensities. What's the name of this island? Caillou, as you already know. 
Imagine a pebble. A smoothed over pebble amidst a great blue sea, misshapen, cracked. The cracks are the river Esperance. We're in the delta of this river on the sixth branch, the Martinez distributary. Okay, uh, that's Martinez. What's Revachol? Revachol. Revachol is what you call a city. What kind of city is Revachol? Great kind. What makes Revachol great? History detective. They built this city to resolve history. Our part in it, at least. Our centuries. Okay. Who built the city? The nations of the Occident. Or migrant workers from Seminine and Il Mara, depending on your creed. When was Revachol built? In the DeLorean century. 380 years ago. And why will it resolve history? They say it's where the terrible questions of our time will be answered. The tensions are highest, the fault lines deepest. By that I mean conflicts. Ideological conflicts. The stuff of men. Why here? We are standing on a fertile, self-sufficient island able to sustain up to 200 million people in the middle of the Insulindic Ocean, the world's connective tissue. It's where the money is. So we're pretty much at the centre of the world. Oh, we're quite a way off. About... He points across the water where the skyscrapers the rise. The tall ghosts behind the water vapour, light reflecting off their glass windows. 22 kilometres from the centre of the world. That soldering iron is the bank of the world building. The bottom floors are Insiacom. Coalition government in Silindian Mission Command. Up to the sea. Silence. She lowers her hand. The water, the light. It's as though you're seeing it for the first time. There is no recognition. Only the immensity of the sea and the cold radiating from it. Where are we? We are where we are. I have no truer answer to give, unfortunately. He watches you closely as you scan the horizon, and we gained a thought of jamais vu, derealization. So, gives no bonuses in the meantime. Revachol's special administrative region, La Caillou, the Insulindian Ocean, Coalition Government, Insulindian Mission Command. Name after name, and none of them is familiar. They seem real, but something's wrong. You feel like a kid looking at stickers on the fridge. Provant, the Apricot Company, World Games 34. You can almost see your hand reaching out for them. Scratch at the corner and see if they peel loose. This feels like the most important of all the thoughts, the one you must truly complete. And I don't have a skill slot for it. But I suppose I'm fairly close to getting there, so... Okay. This is one thought you need to complete. Where are you? Was there something else you wanted to know? I remember something about a lowdown. This has been informative. Thank you, ma'am. I'm sure my memory impaired partner has many more questions to ask about even more fundamental aspects of reality. See, Kim's getting it. Might I suggest not asking them all right now? Ma'am, Monsieur will be here later too, and tomorrow. Isn't that true, ma'am? Absolutely. My commitment here is long term. You're right, Lieutenant. I'll continue later. But I want to know everything now. Won't I be lazy if I don't do it all now? So. Kim makes a good point. With taking up someone else's time, there is kind of an imposition to them. As a player of the video game, I kind of want to know everything now. Won't I, I be lazy if I don't do it all now is actually closer to what I would say, is because when you start something, you should probably start until you finish it, because otherwise breaking it up can lead to, you know, there being gaps. For example, playing this game, having a gap in between, you know, one stream to the next, things will get lost. You will forget things and won't tie up all those loose ends. So won't I be lazy if I don't do it all now? Oh, of course not. You are already diligent for getting this far, and diligent boys remember where they left off. No, they don't. Indeed. I'm always at your service. We're going to keep going. What times are these? These are unimportant times, Detective. You and I were born after the dust had settled. A thousandth of a second too late. 
Too late to explore the seas, too early to explore the stars, just in time to explore me. Too late for what? For the big time. Her eyes light up, there's a flash of teeth. What's the big time? The revolution. Ah, and what is this revolution I keep hearing about? It's quite easy. Every hundred years or so, our species gets together to decide what's next. Who gets shot in the head, and who gets the mineral rights. It's a real... kerfuffle. Who got shot in the head? Those would be the communists. Generally speaking, 40 million people got shot in the head during the World Revolution. But the communists... They all got shot in the head. Oh, and the anarchists too. They shot them well. So well, one forgets they even existed. She likes the totality of it. You could say they totally got totally shot in the head. Did the communists and the anarchists shoot back? Did they ever? Before they got shot themselves, they shot two million people. Truly a kerfuffle? That's a tragedy. Sounds like they should have shot more people in the head then. Yeah, she said it's a real kerfuffle. Truly a kerfuffle. Hmm. I don't know whether this is to be sarcastic, because that's what she described it as, or if it's like a, I'm agreeing with what she thinks of it. I'd say that's a tragedy. Yes. The Red Deluge. The Insulindian Deluge, they call it. Anyone else get shot in the head on the opposing side? Oh, lots of people. Even the king got shot in the head, or thrown beneath a horse, or drowned. Accounts differ. It was unceremonious. Just as well, he wasn't actually the king. Just the king's nephew. The real king abdicated and lived out a long and productive life as a venture capitalist in Grad. Smart king, cowardly king, I love that king, fucking communists. I don't care about kings, tell me one more thing. He lived a long and productive life as a venture capitalist in Grad. That's fairly smart, yeah. Yes. King Guillaume had a nose for bad PR. He ran before it. What is the expression? Went down? Anyway, Gil got out alive and his nephew Frisell got shot in his place. Hmm. I wonder if that's why Rene's kind of protective over the monarchy. Him and tens of thousands of his wonderfully fascist kinsmen. It was a wild time. Who got the mineral rights? The liberals got the mineral rights. And by mineral rights, I mean everything. And by liberals, you mean... Liberals are usually middle-class people, detective. Or the remaining gentry. The beneficiaries of the pre-revolutionary arrangement. Some were rich enough to stay with the constitution. With monarchy. Big mistake. Others bet on the revolution. They were called the ultras, or ultra-liberals. They fared well. How did the liberals win it all? They didn't win so much as survive. We were the last ones standing when the war ended. Everyone else got shot in the head, remember? We. She's one of them. Of course. If everyone got shot, who was there to surrender to? To foreign intervention. The coalition. Those people really took the mineral rights. Wait, you just said the liberals took everything? The liberals took everything that wasn't nailed to the ground. The coalition took the ground. The ocean, the laws, and the people. Who are the coalition? The coalition of nations. Grad, Mesk, Vesper, Messina, Oranje, and Sur la Clé. The armed center of the world. They landed here and ended the revolution. It was the moralist thing to do. Okay, we'll be right back. And we're back. Um, so, let's carry on with Joyce. Moralists? The moralists believe in keeping everything exactly the way it is. They believe in mineral rights and not shooting people in the head. Generally what you want to do, At yes. At least not in the same manner and volume as the others do. They are the long-standing provisional rulers of Revachol now, the coalition government. The rulers of Revachol and also the world. These guys are strong. This is their zone of control. They embolden the RCM with crumbs of the same law they took. Technically speaking, you are a moralist. The color of moralism is blue. The official motto of Moral Intern, or Moralist International, is 
a blue forget-me-not, a piece of grey sky. Unofficial. For a moment, there was hope. I don't think I'm a moralist, not just technically, practically, for a moment there was hope. If always picking the option that doesn't commit to anything, then hell yes I am, and also no. Um, not just technically, practically, for a moment there was hope. The devout man of the centre. Hard to come by. It's good to have someone who takes a moderate approach to head shooting. In your line of work, I mean. When was this kerfuffle? The turn of the century revolution. Don't answer it. It's a trick question. The revolution began in 02 on the Isla of Grad, though by the end nearly the whole world had gotten involved. Who started it? It wasn't a who, but a what. A pandemic of Sarat, a particularly virulent prion disease, which the authorities in Grad proved unable to contain. Then Marzolf came along and overthrew the government. What did this Zarat do? It made people overthrow their governments. Wow, really? Of course not. It was a highly infectious microorganism that destroyed brain tissue. The actual causes of the revolution were material. The pandemic only provided the spark. It was a funny time in history. They discovered transistors and rock music, but they didn't know anything about prions. Nobody did. Where did it spread from? From Revachol and Grad? Not far. The world managed to cauterize itself. Mazov's government was overthrown in 08, and the coalition crushed the Revachol commune two years later. It was the end. What came next? Why? You and I, officer. Our lives in the zone of control. What is the zone of control? A city-state divided into free market zones under the everlasting interregnum of the coalition of nations and you of course the citizens militia the zone of control is the third incarnation of revachol after the failure of the suzerain and the commune what happened in the rest of the world modernity they developed the marvels of the inter communication telematic milieus radiation colored plastics meanwhile in revachol west the Aftermath continues for the fifth decade. 51 minus 8 equals 43. Wait, you're saying it's been like this for 43 years? Time flies. What have we been doing? What have we been doing all the that 20s time? saw a decade of urban war, west of the river level, offshore platforms in flames. Still, it's regarded as an improvement on what came before. 08 to 19 was simply hell. And after that? The 30s? Things settled down in the 30s. Revachol East transformed itself into the world's largest tax haven, with the international community's blessing. For the first time in a long time, it seemed like things were going somewhere. Were they? No. It was a market mirage fueled by cocaine and quantitative easing. The 40s dispelled it like a cold splash, an Isla wide hangover, you might say. And here we are. He curtsies. Welcome to reality, baby. All right, we have a skill point. So I will need to unlock this last skill point for a slot, and then internalize jamais vu. For her to be where she is, Wild Pines Group must have picked the right side. Which side was Wild Pines group on? They picked the winning side. That's why they're here, and others are not. Okay, but how do you do that? I think they got lucky. Perhaps it wouldn't have turned out that way had I been in charge. I might have bet on the king and led the pines to doom. You would have sided with the king? I would have sided with the cannons. If you'd seen the calibers of the things, you might have too. Perhaps it's better I was born when I was. Ten of the fourteen Indo tribes got it wrong. Feld, Kupri, Tricentennial. So I suppose I would have been in good company. What would you have done differently? Good question. What would you have done differently? I asked you, who are you in all this? I would have sought a medical solution, sound like Zarat drove these people mad. I would have killed more, 400 million if that's what it took. I would have positioned myself very precisely, I would have made it out with the mineral rights. I don't know what I would have done differently. No, I asked you first. 
Who are you in all this? And I asked you, past less detective of the citizens' militia, what insight has acute encephalopathy given to you? I would have made it out with the mineral rights. You and everyone else. But that's got nothing to do with preventing the revolution. Oh, well. What was, was, I guess. That's enough about they the time. They are what they are. Who knows? An afterbloom may yet come. Anyway, enough sentimentality. Is there anything else you want to know? Not so fast. Who is she in all this? Ask her who she is. She owes you an answer. I want to know what you are. Alright, so unfortunately, uh, despite me saying that we want to be carrying on with this line of questioning for her, uh, I have a, uh, a physical deadline because it is close to my bedtime. You know, being a full-time worker, or as this game would maybe say, a wage slave, means I have to go to sleep. Um, so we are going to be wrapping up the stream here. So let's go ahead. Oh, I can't even make a save. Interesting. You can't save mid-conversation. I suppose that makes sense, because otherwise you just save before a difficult choice and then do it and then go back. All right. All right. That's all for now. But we will talk to you Glad again. Been of assistance. The little that uh, I know. Again. Anything else? Thanks. That's all for of now. Of course, detective. Take care. So, let's make a full save, and we will wrap up the stream for now. So. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can follow us on twitch.tv slash rigorob to watch us when we're live. And if you've got any sort of comments or you know suggestions that you'd like to see during the playthrough, then please feel free to suggest those. Uh, we also have TikTok, Twitter, Discord, those all tell you when we go live or we've got clips, stuff like that. And this will go up onto YouTube at some point uh, in the future. We stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at around 8 p.m. UK time, usually. Uh, and we will be carrying on with Disco Elysium. Uh, or there might be some other games, you know, coming out fairly soon. Fire Emblem Engage is one that I'm wanting to play. But it seems like Disco Elysium has got a lot of depth to it that I probably will not get through before it comes out. So, well, we will, we will see. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time.